So this is the Galaxy Watch 7 and it does look almost identical to the Galaxy Watch 6, which is also very similar to the Watch 5, Watch 4, Watch FE. Okay, fine, I get it. But there are some big upgrades if you compare it with the Watch 5 or if you're coming from a Watch 4. For example, it does have W1000 chipset from Exynos. Now, this is a 3nm SoC, which, which has never been seen inside a Galaxy Watch before. And to be honest, this is one of the best chipsets for a Galaxy Watch. It has powerful CPU with 5 cores, 1 Prime Cortex A78 cores and 4 Cortex A55 cores. Samsung claims this new CPU offers 2.7 times faster app launch, which is a big relief for the Galaxy Watch 4 users if they are upgrading. It also allows faster app switching, single core performance is 3.4 times faster, while multi core performance is actually 3.7 times faster. It also uses the ARM's Mali G68 MP2 GPU. So it can drive screens with a resolution up to 640 by 640. And the best part is that this chip also features integrated 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So every single watch, is, whether it's a Watch 7 or Watch 7 Ultra, all of them are coming with 32 gigabytes of storage. Because of this much performance, the efficiency is a big thing as well. And that's why Samsung has used the fan out panel level packaging or FOPLP technology to improve the power efficiency and heat dissipation. It has also embedded RAM and storage on top of the same chip using the embedded package on package or EPOP technology. Samsung has also used the system in package or SIP technology to embed the power management integrated chip or PMIC into the same exact package. So this is a real compact chipset while offering great performance and efficiency as well, but on paper. One cool thing is though, the Exynos W1000 actually offers 2.5D always on display for improved watch faces and high details and better colors in the always on display mode. So always on display is also getting a big upgrade. Now this watch also comes with the same sapphire crystal glass display and that has been good so there shouldn't be that much improvements needed but it does offer significantly bigger battery quite a bit but compared to watch 4 not watch 6 because it does come with the same 426 mAh battery and the same 10 watt fast wireless charging for a watch in terms of colors of the chassis or the aluminum armor aluminum chassis it is only green a very olive green a silver one and then there is a pale gold color you can also see the one click bands as well but these are certainly a different looking one differently designed ones but usually they function the same way exactly like the previous bands but these are the samsung's newer bands with more colors added and hopefully they will offer a longer software upgrade path and in terms of size it will still be coming with the same 40 mm and 44 mm models just like the watch 6 and will offer the same bluetooth and bluetooth plus 4g connectivity options as well and in terms of battery this for the smaller one is actually going to be 300 mAh. so that's the thing the bigger one was 425 or 26 and the smaller one 300 mAh. the smaller watch 7 will actually weigh around 28 grams or so and the bigger one will actually weigh around 33 grams in terms of screen size it's going to be 1.3 in screen for the 40 mm model with 432 by 432 pixels and 330 ppi density for the bigger model, it's 1.5 in screen, 480 by 480 screen, 327 PPI density. RAM, if I haven't mentioned, it's actually 2 gigabytes for either models. So in depth of connectivity though, it does offer Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands, NFC, and then there is the GPS, the double frequency GPS, the L1 plus L5 GPS that you can find inside the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, not even inside the Watch 6 or Watch 6 Classic which does give you an option for a trackback. Very interesting if you are into hiking and stuff like that. And it will be powered by Samsung's One UI watch experience. And maybe, maybe it will get more software updates over the time. In terms of production ratings, it's still going to be very much similar to the Watch 6, IP68, 5 ATM rating, and military standard A10H rating. Now in terms of peak brightness, we know already that it's going to be 2000 nits for the Galaxy Watch 7. A very good one. As for the pricing though, the Galaxy Watch 7 40mm Bluetooth model will start at 319 euros. The 44mm model will start at 349 euros. Amazon Canada actually says that Galaxy Watch 7 in its 40mm Bluetooth model will actually be costing you 358 dollars, Canadian dollars, up from 289s of the current model at the same exact specification. The problem is this is a very early listing so it's very hard to say for if the Canadian price is actually accurate or not. 
but we have heard a rumor saying the Galaxy Watch 7 and Watch 7 Ultra might be the first Galaxy Watches with glucose monitoring system. Now this is not the first time we are hearing it, we have been hearing it for a very long time. If it does come then it's gonna be the craziest thing of all and Samsung might increase the price then. But if it doesn't come then you know the deal, it's not gonna come. So that's totally it about the Galaxy Watch 7. Let me know about your thoughts in the comments section about how much of an upgrade it is over the Galaxy Watch 4 if you are using one or Watch 5 if you are using one. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.